Hello everybody, welcome to another one day build. It's just going to be a short one today probably. Um, and we're going to do some gravity stuff. Working on gravity. I'm going to make um, gravity manipulation a thing. Um, because on Zero Suit I want to do some space stations where, you know, like in 2001 Space Odyssey and things like that. Where use them centrifugal force space stations and things stick to the walls in all directions yep well we're gonna try and figure out how to get things sticking to the walls no it's probably not gonna be fully realistic because those centrifugal stations there's still zero gravity they're just using centrifugal force to fling things in a direction but unless oh yeah yeah it'd work it'll work all right um just check that my streams all up and running blah, blah, blah. right so let's get started so basically I've just got an empty level here. Yada 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 yada. Lighting needs to be rebuilt, it always will. We don't care about lighting now. You know what, I like playing in near any window. It feels better. Um right, so let's get some objects in the level. Now the character might not Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the unreal gravity because I'm pretty sure that that can only go like in the vertical direction Z axis axis and um it can you can turn it off you can increase gravity um increase the force downwards um, and you can even make it negative so that it goes upwards um, let's let's try that right so let's go to world settings where's world settings go settings world settings gravity Right, this should be zero gravity now. Yeah, that looks pretty much like zero gravity. Right, so if we increase gravity to 9.807 for Earth gravities, then 9.807 meters per second. So that should be Earth gravity. Huh. It's not calculated in that way. Let's just try one. Gravity one. No, let's try a thousand. See what that does. Still. Bip. My optional level specific gravity override set by level designer. Yeah, that's what we want. Why is it not? Um, right, that should just be normal gravity, right? Looks a bit floaty, but I think that's just my character. You know what? It might be the character that's um, at fault here. Let's get some physics objects in there. Because characters are weird. They use a different physics system in some cases. 
Um, let's get some good old cubes in. Get some cubes in here. You know what? Let's duplicate them. Duplicate them. And duplicate them. Right, we've got some cubes. Let's go to simulate today. Alright. Okay. Now, these cubes. Let's just group them here. Make things easier. Right. We want... Naval physics. Where's physics? There we go. Oops, in the cube, physics, simulate physics, enable gravity, mass, okay, right, so that should just let them all drop to the floor, yep, or onto the player, let's move you back a bit, fella, we don't want you getting squashed, um, then, if we turn off this gravity. What happens then? Really? Floating away. Something's happening. One is nothing. I wonder if we can adjust this while simulating. No. Um, right, so it seems that positive values go up and negative values go down. Maybe. Yeah. But you see what I mean? We've got um, a problem there because we've only got up and down. And we need to go in any direction. So we're going to... Turn gravity off. Nah. What we'll do is we will just keep gravity on as usual. I think. Yes. And then what we'll do is we'll create from here a blueprint. And this is going to be our blueprint. Um, directional G. Create a blueprint. Right, we've just got a cube, and in our static mesh, we have. Let's stop that. Simulate physics. We want on. Enable gravity off. And linear dampening. That's all right. Seven seven is fine. Okay. So now we've got which one is our blueprint? Which one was it? Beep 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 beep. beep. A. I thought we just created a blueprint out of one of these. I'll put one in here anyway. Right, so what should happen with this one now? It should not be affected by gravity, but it should still have physics. Why is this snapping so bad? Let's do it to 10. 
you know what put it back to 100 because I like 100 snapping but I just want to turn it off for now right so this should still have physics the others should fall to the floor but you can see that one's got zero gravity but it's still bouncing around the place when things hit it now what we want to do let's bring that fella over here out of the way and Ooh, right, event graph. Every tick, we want to add a linear force, linear physics velocity. Yeah, I think. Event tick. And this is where we add the acceleration, 9.807 meters per second. And... That should be fine if we just have set it at 9.8. Um, yeah. Add linear velocity. <laughs> How's my chat doing? Let's just check on chat for a second. Here we go. Right. So, physics linear velocity. Yes. Physics. No. Let's just put linear velocity. That's not happening. Let's try a static mesh component. Set linear velocity. Here we go. Mm, set all physics linear velocity. Set the linear velocity of all bodies in this component. Um, set the linear velocity of a single body. This should be used cautiously. I think we'll do this one. And we. Does it have to be a component? Can we not just use actor? Guess we'll use the component then. Um, right then. Right, so if every tick we add something in the Z direction, 9.8. Yeah. Add to current. So whatever our current one, add, add it, just keep adding it. That's acceleration in a nutshell. Right, so now if we go back, this should start moving. That's going up. It's gone very far. It should start accelerating. Going faster and faster, and it'll just keep going forever. So, minus 0.8 will be normal of gravity. But just in the um, in the Z direction. Now, is it adding it if, um, let's say it lands on top of one of these? Yes, it's adding it in world space, not um, local space, because we don't want to add it to the cube Z, we want to add it to the world location. We had 
it's basically adding in a force in the world direction so that's good now let's uh, manipulate that force a bit so we want it to be I'll tell you what we'll go to our third this should be interesting this should be really interesting this should be cool let's get a few of them few of these bad boys no they should all be all over the shop right okay uh, um, blueprints third person blueprint please right what we want to do is we want to go to here we want to in the construction script add a reference to third person blueprint get all that stuff class Class. Oh, actually, let's not do that. Let's do it straight directly in here. What is it? Um, input axis forward vector. Movement forward. Move forward. Move right. Okay. Um, let's get the event graph. Move forward. Forward and move right. Right. Right, so let's print string. Just to test this out. Append. Right, if we get this value. And yeah, that value as well. Should give us a 2D vector. Um, sorry, we need to go into here, don't we? Play and edit a window. No, it's not printing. We'll do it from the character. I must have just hooked it up wrong. Yeah, we're not receiving input from the players, are we? So. <laughs> What would be the best way to do this? Receive input from character. Player controller. Ooh. You know what? I'm just going to pass it from the player. Let's get a reference to the third person character on the gameplay. Acts of class, third person character. Get the first one, because there's only one in the game. So I'll say get zero, promote variable. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Lovely jubbly. And then set that to ref. Can. Right, in the event graph, what we want to do is every tick, we want to, in the third person character. What's going on here? Oh, right, yeah, that's my um, old little bit of code to use Pythagoras' theorem to get um, how much the stick is being pressed in a certain direction. Um, we could have used that. 
No, let's not use that. We'll save it because we might use it later. You know what? We'll keep it. And then we'll um, add another one in the middle. Right, we're going to create a vector 2D. Vector 2D. And it's going to be input vector. Yes, we're going to set that. And it's going to be this bad boy. Plus. So that's the forward vector. Plus the left right vector. Ah, oh, sorry. Grab that, put it there. Grab that one, put it there. Get rid of that. That's our vector. Every time we do an input, um, we might as well set that one as well. Why not? Then, event tick, get our vector. Get the input vector. And we'll do the Y and Z. will be Y and Y will be Z. Compile, save. Let's see if this actually works now. Look at that. When we move, the cubes move. This way. That way, this way, that way, this way, that way. Um. <laughs> okay, so, you know what, we're going to do it X and Z. Break links. And we are going to bring my character over here so that you can see what's going on. And this should, in theory, work out. Right, they're stationary. Move forward. They move forward, move backwards. They move backwards. The direction is the same as my characters. Left and right is up and down. Ooh, spooky. But it's adding to the cube's velocity. So, the more we run, the faster they go. And then if we run back to the same position, they should end up back over here. Right, they should be coming back. I can see them. Going up now. Let's get them going down a little bit. Try and get them to crash land into us. Oh, we're landing some cubes. We're landing some cubes. Clear the runway. Cubes are coming in hot. Now they seem to have disappeared. Oh, there they are. Oh, 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 I seem to have crashed. Oh, disaster. Cubes have come in hot. And they're going back up again. Right. So that's kind of working out. We can just multiply it to make it more obvious. Um, 
So let's get that vector and we'll first of all we shall break vector get input vector times float let's do times 9.8 f gravity again and then every time we move it will add a little bit of Earth's gravity to the vector. This time our forward vector is going to be the up and down and our left right vector is going to be backwards and forwards. Um, and I'm going to put it inside of a glass box so that we can figure stuff out. Actually, you know what? I don't like it like this. What I want to do is if I'm running forward, add. Um, flip gravity to earth gravity forward whichever direction I'm running I want to make earth gravity that direction not add earth gravity hmm hmm <laughs> hmm how would that work then We've got a vector x and y. So let's just figure this one out first. Let's see if this one's working all right. It's pretty much the same as before. Nice break. Ah, ah, slam it back down. Boxes are going everywhere now. Lost control of them boxes, didn't I? Right. You know what? I want a different material on these because I can't see them. Materials. Default instance. Yeah, that'd be fine. I'll make it glow. Emissive color. Emissive strength. Four. The color. Ooh. Traditional hot pink. Yeah. Love me hot pinks. There we go. Let's have that traditional hot pink colour. There we go. Lovely. Now we should be able to see it wherever it is. Oh. Right. It's already going wrong. Right, let's go back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow. They're going fast now. Come back. Break. in cubes you see how it's still zero gravity though I kind of want to switch the gravity direction based on a vector because it's still zero gravity it's just adding to the velocity Right then. 
let's have a crack at this then. So, we don't want that. File new. Oh, yeah. Let's go here. One day build a planet, if that's what we want. Cancel that. Don't crop. Cancel. Right, okay. Right, we don't want that to. There we go. Should be all right. There we go. Right, we've got our planet up now. Good. Should have done this before the stream. Um. Right. So. We have got our gravity. We've got our x vector, we've got our y vector. We've got our y vector. So if we've got, <laughs> let's say we've got x1 and y1, minus 1. And minus one here, zero. Um, so we want to times that by Earth's gravity. So if we if we press up, Earth's gravity is going to be. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to times it by F gravity. We want to times it by. No, we don't want to times it. How are we going to do this? Right, X gravity. We've got our vectors. What we want to do is we want to get our vectors. If we're going to translate that to the direction. That the gravity is going. And then we're going to each second add a linear velocity in that direction of Earth's gravity. So if we are going in. Right. I don't quite understand this myself. We'll figure it out. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We're adding a linear velocity. Do we still need to add linear velocity? Right, we want to add a linear velocity of... ...9.8 every second. So let's uh, let's get a variable. This is a gravity multiplier. It's going to be a float, nine point eight as a default, zero seven just to be accurate. Um, right, so that's the amount of gravity we want to apply every second. Now we need to figure out the direction we want to apply it in, in accordance to this input vector. 
Should be easy, but I've just gone totally blank. It's hard to do streaming and programming at the same time, scripting at the same time. Oh, right, so. Gravity multiplier. So, linear velocity. Let's um, break these. The combined pin. And we're adding to the velocity. So we want to figure out which direction we want the velocity to go in, which will be this vector. Times F gravity, right? Now we want to add F gravity every second. So we're going to add a velocity every second. doing it right pretty much that's fine I mean that's that's what we want and then when we're not adding velocity we just want to have zero gravity right because if we want it to be S gravity we'll just press down on our controller Am I doing this right? Um, what was it? X is up and down, so that's Z. Y is back and forth. We'll put that in Y there. Compile. No, put that in Z. Compile, save. Right. Now, let's put it in like a little cage so it doesn't get too crazy. Um, geometry box Good. Box. Do, 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 A hollow box. Wall thickness 10. And we'll make it like that. Let's do 2000 by 2000 by 2000. Stick it in the sky and press end down to the bottom. Then inside the box, we shall have our gravity things and our player. Get inside there. And so we've got a box full of stuff. Maybe we should cap it cap the velocity so that it doesn't go past um, like terminal velocity or whatever but if we're in space there will be no terminal velocity right you stay there um, and I want a 
lights inside here. A big one. Attenuation radius. That'll do. Build lighting. At medium quality. Build. Right, so this is. Yeah, that's fine. This is the same thing as before, but we're inside a box. stuck to the ceiling because I'm constantly adding that I'm constantly walking forward now and I want to walk back they're going down constantly walk to the side they're going that way walk to this side they go that way Do a bit of both, walk down, walk up and to the side. It, it's kind of like walking on the walls. If we were to invert that, it might be more useful. You. Um, our minus. One minus, one minus one. <laughs> what am I doing? That's not how you invert stuff. Times minus one. That direction. Should I invert the other one? So walking forward makes it go down. Instead of up, walking back makes it go down. Walking forward makes it go up. We'll keep it. Walking forward makes it go up. Walking back makes it go down. Zero gravity, so it bounces around. When it comes to the ground, so there we go. This way goes that way. So follow me this way. Follow me this way. Stop, go this way. And it's adding velocity. Every second. I kind of want it to be more. Let's try 30 should be more um, apparent. Go down. Go this way. Go that way. Yeah, that's that's quite that quite nice, isn't it? Bouncing around. Go this way. Go that way. Yeah. You know what? This um, little experimental chamber could act like a space station. You know, like a centrifugal force thing. Let's say that there is a force. We want to attract it to the inverse of the center point. Which will be the out outside. So if we get something like this, um, right, so right, let's get this thing. This is going to be converted into 
you know what can we make that into a different type of brush a cylinder hollow cylinder align to side what's that mean okay let's do 50 um, doo -doo 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 -doo. make it quite long make it quite oh, not in a radius out radius inner radius make it a big big space stationy type thing um, inner radius we need a little bit of a wall then we will rotate it 90 degrees there we go and move it up we will then cap it where's my character shouldn't really do this while we're building lighting should we it's going to mess the ma light map up but never mind. The hard thing is going to get the character moving on the walls. I think that'll be a case of changing the character orientation and getting them to stick to walls. We'll try that later. But first. Let's um where's the cylinder gone? In the world outliner, there is no one. Come on. Where are you in the world outliner there? Oh, you need to turn that off. Let's make you hollow no no um Z this is just an end cap basically for our cylinder there we go end cap and one at this side and we've got the makings of a space station um right then let's make this into one big static mesh So we need to convert to static mesh. Group. I'm pretty sure there's a way. I'm pretty sure there's a way. Create static mesh out of those. Um, SM test station. Static mesh done. Very nice. There we go. We've got a space station. Right, let's play again. That's not good. No collision. <laughs> oh, no collision. Right, let's go into this static mesh and change the collision. Right, meshes. Where did I put that static mesh? Space station. Oh, there we go. Meshes, get in there. 
Need some collision on that bad boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Bill didn't lighten his console. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I know you found some errors. I don't really mind. I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. And right, so static meshes should be in here now. Open sesame. There we go. Collision. Oh, you've got some collision. What's the deal? What's the problem here? Why is collision not on this thing? Simulate physics, link with gravity, collision, default. Maybe my character's clipping through and that's why it's not doing the collision. No, that's not the answer. Right, collision, let's just change it to use complex collision. Block all. Use simple collision. Combat. Is complex collision. Let me surely fix these things. There we go. Right. Now we we're doing all right. This guy's not going to be able to run much further than that. All right. But our gravity is still happening. Good. Right. The center of the thing. Okay, okay. Now we don't want to go in the X direction, we just want the Y and Z. Right, okay. Let's create a blueprint out of this. Comment, stack mesh, no, blueprint, test station. BP, test station, create blueprints. Um, and that will be in the old blueprints folder, wherever that is. Uh, no, not third person. Oh, we'll just keep it here for now. And we don't really need this to do anything. We just want to get a reference to it in here. Um, so, construction scripts. We'll do this again. when we construct our thing and we will go for this is not the most efficient way to do things but it's quick BP test station um, get that um, promote variable Ref test station. There we go. Event graph. Now, every tick, uh, actually. Forward vector isn't going to work. I was thinking get actor location, center of that test station. Get actor location this actor actually get out to location yeah get actor law 
location. That's the location. That'll be that one. And then get this location. Get component world location. World location. Because we're moving the component. We're not moving the actor, are we? Set all physical linear velocity on the component, right? Yeah, so we're moving the component. This is going to change. Get world location. Look at rotation. Yeah. Look at rotation should work. Right, so find out the direction this thing is looking. Right, say we're inside this space station, okay? And we're doing it for this actor. What we're doing is we're getting this actor, we're getting the center of the space station there, finding that. Out the lookout rotation to the center of this space station. So this rotation, whether it's like 10x, 6y, you know, to get it rotated towards the center of the space station. Find that rotation, what this act would be to be rotated towards that space station. Um, get that forward vector that's the vector towards the space station from this actor but we kind of don't want the uh, let's go back to vectors world vector we only want the z and the y we don't want the x that's x vector isn't it red's x right Red vector is X, yep. So we just want the Z and Y. No, we don't want that one, we want this one. A forward vector. Um, we just want the Z and the Y. What do we want to do with it? <laughs> we kind of just want to add Oh shit, no, we don't want to look towards it, we want to look inverted Hmm We don't want to attract towards the center. Do we just invert that? So instead of going towards it goes away? I think so. And um, that's one minus that then. Times. Why can't we? What? No, no, no. We can't. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay. Actually, we'll just invert this. Yeah, that's it. This is the one. Times one minus that forward vector. Yes. Um. So it's given. We still only need the x and y. We don't want it to go sideways around the station. If you get my drift. Drift sideways. We don't want it to drift sideways. Um, 
from that variable. Bad joke, bad joke. Um, split pin, times that by gravity. That we want. And that should give us the direction and. Yeah, because we're basically just doing this, aren't we? So. And we're just doing the X and Y. No. The Y and Z. Yes. Let's multiply it by gravity first. And then we'll one minus it. Um, recombine struct times one minus. Should give us a nice vector to plug into here. You know what, let's just do that. <laughs> Then tick. So we're not doing that one anymore, we're doing this one. Um, X is always going to be zero anyway, so there we go. Right, let's see what the hell happens here. Oh, they all get stuck to that surface, which is fine. Why does it want to go this way though? I don't get that. I think we are using the X. Yeah, we're using the X. Right, so. Um, let's just remove that. Okay, that's it. Um, split pin, split pin. Y and Y, Z and Z. Now it should work. Yeah, we're not going sideways like before we can push it it's not being attracted sideways is it right let's loosen it up a little bit so we can push stuff around 9.0 no, 9.807 f gravity again right we've got a little space station going on now should be able to push them around and if we put file save all, if we like put a few of these up here and over here, they should all stick to different walls in theory. Can't walk over to touch him. I want to see it though. I want to see it. Yeah, they're all sticking to the walls. Like centrifugal force. But cubes are a bit boring. Let's make it apparent. And what we want is this thing to be component we can change we can we can change that right so create child Woo this is gonna be um chair let's get some chairs going on uh, props Where's our where's our blah, 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 blueprint? Oh, 
What am I doing? There we go. Let's go to chair. one of them in hang about I'll just change you to chair buddy come on do we really have to set it in here chair Chairs on the go. <laughs> See what happens to these chairs, eh? Try and get this one to land on its feet. Right, it's probably going to go in that direction, roughly. Oh, yes. We've got chairs in our space station. People can sit down on that chair, landing on its feet. People can sit on the chair in a space station. Oh. Time to do another, another little testy thing, I think. Oh, look at that Hmm, lovely. Like you. Want one. I want one. Right, Space Station 1.0 is nearly on the go. All we need now is our character to be walking on the walls. Let's try and figure this out. This is going to be much tougher, I feel. Um, third person character, where are you? I think there's something where you can stick to surface. I'm not sure where that would be. So we want it to stick to the surface. And we want it to change in orientation. Exactly the same way as those. Um, those other things. How do we stick to surface? Stick to surface. Movement. Maybe that's in movement. Maintain horizontal ground velocity. Walking movement always maintains horizontal velocity when moving up ramps, which causes movement up ramps to be faster parallel to the ramp surface. If follow said, walking movement maintains velocity when moving parallel to the ramp surface. Um, who cares about that? We don't want that. Max step height. If less, not one percent is captured from the Distance hit resort. This is going to be tough. Use flat base for floor checks. Always check floor. Let's check threshold. Pause. Next floor check. Additional height.
to set the rotation. This is going to be tough. It's going to take hours of fiddling around with this to get it right. Hours which we haven't got. Yeah, and it's not just going to be a case of checking the right check boxes. It's also going to be calculating the um, orientation of the player Ooh, according to the surface. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Right, so I think we'll bring it to a close. It's a good start, though. We got a little. We got quite a bit done for a, a little mini space station there, haven't we? Better than I expected. We've got kind of a, a, a nice simulation of gravity. It's not very accurate, to be honest. Um, but it'll do. It'll do the job. And you know what? Let's um, let's put it on really s um, low so we can see it all happen in slow motion, baby. This is not how centrifugal force works, by the way. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Look at it, it's going to stick to the floor up there. Yes, that's just what we wanted. Someone can take a seat on that. If they don't want to, if they want to feel sick, that is. Oh yes, we've got chairs floating around and sticking to our space station walls. Well, that brings us to an end of this one day build. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you, um, if you are fancy doing stuff like this, um, I do have a tuition program. So if you want to get cracking making your own video games as a beginner or maybe even an intermediate, I can offer you some tips. Um, just look on our website, blueblazestudio.com, and yeah, we'll get you up and running, making your own video games. Um, so that brings us to a close. Tatty buys. Ooh.